Hey guys, I am back with another tested recipe, and as you can see, I'm not in my usual setup. That's because I've been joined by Prue Lee. Thank you so much for welcoming me into your kitchen. Do you know, I've had this kitchen for 40 years, and yeah. it still works, it's really nice. It's amazing, and I absolutely love the island in the middle, and is that like a big lazy Susan? Yeah, that's right. Full of equipment. So we're here today because Prue has a new cookbook out. It is called Prue. I just absolutely love these colours. I just think it reflects you so much. Uh, and we are going to be trying out her hot apricot and blood orange souffle. So many people think souffles are so hard and so challenging. So I thought, as I've got Prue here, why don't we do a souffle? You can take me through your tips and your tricks and help everyone not think souffles are really hard to make. You're absolutely right. People panic about souffles mm -hmm. all the time, but we all yeah. know hot air rises. And if you get the air into the egg whites, stick it in the oven, the air will expand, it will force the souffle up. It can't so it's not bound to rise. rise. I the trouble is it also falls down. Yes. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. It tastes great and all souffles collapse in the end. So we've already had the apricot soaking for about two hours. So we're going to crack on and get poaching these in a small pan first. So I'm just going to pour that in. So you just want this to be over a low heat, don't you? And it says here we need to pop a lid over the top. In that case, we better do it, because <laughs> I said so. <laughs> I believe this is your first cookbook in 25 years. It is. So tell me, tell so me about how old it. Are you? I am 25. So you were not born when I read when my last cookbook. <laughs> I really, <laughs> it's really embarrassing. <laughs> I wrote lots of cookbooks over okay. 20 years, and um, about 12 of them. Because I had a, a school of food and wine, I was teaching a lot, and so they were quite hefty manuals in a very sort of didactic, you know, this is how you do this, and this is the classic way to do that. And after many years, I got really a bit stale. I thought, you know, I, I really don't want to tell anybody ever again how to make a beige wine sauce. <laughs> Writing is quite a lonely business, mm -hmm. and so it's quite nice to be asked to do television or something. Yeah. And I started doing the Great British Menu, and then I met all these chefs who cooked amazing things all the yeah. time. And then, of course, I got to a great British Bake Off, where the bakers, although they're amateurs, are so creative and so up with and such and good so good at it. But, well, you know, there's this great new audience for me, and the food has changed so mm -hmm. much, and the way everybody eats has changed so much. So I thought, well, I'm dying to get in there and write yeah. that sort of thing, which is very different from what I was writing. I love that in your book you've said my all-time favourite recipe. So have you got some good classics but some new recipes yes, in yes. there? So Talking of baking, there's a, you know, that. I mean, there yes. couldn't be anything more, more classic, classic than, than that, more no. Tart. And I've been making that for 50 years. Wow. And it's still one of the best. It's, and I haven't changed a thing about it. I was going to say, have you changed anything? I didn't need... think of it. Should I, you know, put less butter and less cream? And I said, no, it's, abs it's perfect for yeah. a good reason. Yeah. So yeah. let's get greasing. Just going to rub some butter into it. And, and we need to dust those as well, so just lightly. Yeah, just lightly, very lightly. I'll put it in there. And the sugar will slightly caramelise around the oh, edges. Oh, nice. It's delicious. Shall we These are bubbling away. Are they How good? Long do they have to have it said 20 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Um, would you say they were done? I love how everything in this kitchen is so accessible. Did you design it or did you just move in? No, I didn't. You actually it. designed that? This used to be the dining room of my oh, really? predecessor's house. It was the nicest room in the house and I thought, right, I'm having that I mean, that's the kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> yeah, should we switch these down a bit? Yeah. I think it'll be That'll good. That'll be good. Okay. 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 So now we've got to start melting the butter in a small saucepan, add the flour and cook for a minute. So this is almost like the start of a roux. Yeah, it is. It is. Well, most, souf most souffles start with you making a fairly thick sauce. Right. Often called a panade when it's a sort of like a thick white sauce. Okay. This will actually be the first time I've had souffle. I've oh, never really? actually had one before. Isn't that bad? No, it's that's wonderful. really bad. That's your, That's just so exciting because that's a lovely thing. Give it a mix up. Perfect. You just got to cook that for about a minute. Yeah. We've got to add in the blood orange juice yeah, and then nice. the zest. Now, um, I was panicking a bit because I was like, oh, there's no blood oranges, but what's really good is you can actually buy the pure juice oh, in the shop. So this is pure juice. juice. Oh, yeah, so um, and then these, because Waitrose is fancy, they sell blush oranges. 
Have you ever heard of blood oranges? No, they might be slightly pink. But a really good dark blood orange has a fantastic flavour. Yeah. So I'm glad you've got proper yeah, blood orange. Yeah, I made sure. Any grating. Buy any greater zest of one blood orange. Blush in our case. Um, <laughs> would this ever work with normal oranges? Is it just oh, yeah. that you would yeah, just yeah, prefer the flavour? It's just, it's just that I like the flavour of blood yeah. oranges. And, and it's so maddening because blood oranges are very um, seasonal. Yeah. You can't always get them, so any other orange will do. Mix well before adding the apricot puree. Return to medium heat and simmer for two to three minutes. It's because what you've got here... I thought the cat went, well! <laughs> <laughs> Mix it well! Yes, well, the cat's probably thinking it's time for his supper. <laughs> anyway, you, the reason you mix it well is because you've got the butter and the flour mixed together. Mm -hmm. And as the butter melts, it will spread the flour evenly and you right. won't get lumps. Our blitzed apricots now need to go into the pan. Doesn't matter if these are still hot. Mass watering. <laughs> Because can I can smell them. Never, I have to tell you, stirred with a spatula before in my life. Would you like a wooden spoon? No, I'm just very impressed. Does it not um, ruin the spatula? No, it doesn't actually. Do you like my spatulas? Yeah. Lots of people actually comment on them. They make me happy. You see, the um, it's a bit thicker now than the than the sauce was. Yeah, so both, much you've thicker. You've got both the um, actually, you wouldn't be able to tell with this um, apricot whether we had lumps in the flour or no. not. <laughs> But we haven't, I promise you. So if you were making this, would you have made those apricots a bit smoother then? Yeah, but my machine just is better at it. I don't know why, right. but you know, that's fine. It'll be, yeah. it'll be absolutely fine. I mean, lots of souffles have little bits. Yeah, okay. And then you keep stirring it until it's all amalgamated and smooth. Okay, perfect. So what's your cat called? Well, my cat is called Magnificat, and he has no right to be on the worktop. <laughs> it was a great job, I saw it before. I can't tell you how often I've taken that title. <laughs> Magnificat. What do we need to get on with now? Oh, I think that needed to be cooling actually, so that's not bad that we've been chatting. So in a large bowl, we need to whisk the egg whites until they hold their shape. So three egg whites going in there. Now, do you ever brush with lemon or anything at all? No. I just make very sure that the bowl is clean because mm -hmm. if it's at all greasy, the egg works won't, right. won't whisk. It's so maddening. Yeah. So you have to make sure it's clean. So shake it again. So I've just beaten those until it holds its shape and we're going to okay. add in the caster sugar. Beat as well? Yeah. yeah as, soon as, it won't, as soon as it won't move, yep. you're there. Perfect. Okay, and then you want to tip all this in there. Perfect. Is that cool enough? Doesn't matter. <laughs> See, if I was at home, I'd be like, no, not cool enough, I cannot do it yet. Okay, all of it straight in. Yeah. Sure, okay. It smells amazing, doesn't it? Can you ever put any alcohol in this? Do you need yeah, to go sure get you that? Can. Can you just get the alcohol? With the folding, would you do it with a spatula or do you go metal? I usually do use metal. But Should I move it? No, metal? I'm really fully in love with your spatula, so I'm <laughs> sure it'll work. Fingers crossed. Okay. And is this a fold until everything is really mixed, or is this one of those recipes where it just needs to be a little bit? Yeah, uh, that's almost enough. Yeah. I, it, most people over mix it, and then yeah. you start to beat air out of it. What you try to do is, that's right, that's lovely. I've heard that's the biggest mishap. Everyone yeah. over beats. Okay, so that's the mixture done. You don't need to over mix that at all. Just once it starts coming together, and now we're going to spoon it into our ramekins. Mm -hmm. Almost full, you said. Yeah, almost full, yes. Yeah. Oh, it's so light. Yeah. Perfect. You are very good. Most people get it down the sides. Very good. So you can fill the thing quite full, as long as you do what I'm going to show you now. Do you love showing people how to bake, or would you rather be in the kitchen on your own? No, I love it. I love having other people. I teach my grandchildren how to bake. Aren't they lucky to have you as a grandmother? <laughs> That'd be amazing. So this is what you want to do here. Go around like that, then it makes it look, gives it a kind of top hat. And does this help it come out it as well? And makes it come up in the middle and not all over the edge. Have you got a, a baking tray in the oven getting hot? 
Um, I believe so, yes, it's in the middle. So why why does that need to be in there getting well, hot? Well, it's not essential, but if you, if you think what you're trying to do is heat up everything so that it will expand and rise mm -hmm. and be forced up because there's nowhere else for it to go, and if you can give it a boost of heat from underneath, yeah, that's so true. Um, it works better. So if you've got a hot baking sheet already in the mm -hmm. oven, you put them on and so boom. make sure you, you put your baking. Oh no, you lick it. I am a fan of licking the spatula. So what Prue's just done is run her finger around the top to create a top hat. That's going to help bring those up. This smells amazing. So we've got some left over there as well. Would you say if you had extra mixture to put it in more ramekins ASAP? Yes. Or, yes. Yes. Put yes. Okay. Perfect. They are the cutest little ramekins. They're cute, aren't they? Yeah. Off they go. Do well. Top or middle. They are going in there for 12 to 14 minutes. Uh -huh. Although you do say here that if you don't want to fiddle with the individual little ones, that you can do it in yeah, a big why one. Why don't we put the rest in a, in a bigger dish? Like Good it. idea. Do you just love colours? I do, I do. I just think it's such a waste of life to always be in grey and beige and brown. And I'm wasting my life. <laughs> no, you, yes. And I've been dying to ask, how many necklaces do you think you own? This is caster sugar. Well, I have less than I did um, two weeks ago because oh, I, really? just, I just gave a whole lot to the um, local Charity. bring and buy. Oh, right, yeah. you know. So I think I have about 200 necklaces. They are on no. two, they're on two walls in the bedroom. Um, and they're just on pegboards, you know, like, yeah. like hooks. And there are three to every hook, no. and it's ridiculous. And That's I'm... amazing. So has that just yeah. always been your thing then? Yeah, yes. And of course, a lot of them I don't wear now because they're too mild. I've got, I've, my tastes have got vulgar and vulgar as I've got older. <laughs> so do you wear one with every outfit then? I don't, want, I don't like to waste a day yeah. without a decent necklace. And I feel sort of sorry for them if I don't if you don't put yeah, one on. I don't ever give them an outing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. No, that's good. I feel like I need to step up my necklace game. I've not even got one on. Okay. So will you that know one... They say never open the oven when there's a souffle in it. It's nonsense. Oh, really? You know, just open it quickly and shut. And don't go shh, don't give yeah. it a blast of air. Oh, they look all right, didn't they? They look really good. Very nice. Sometimes it just comes out too quickly though, doesn't it? In posh restaurants, very often, before the souffle sinks, the waiter comes along and makes a hole in it and pours some cream in it. Oh, really? And the cream is partly, oh, I put, puts a blob of ice cream in it, and it's delicious with it, of course. Mm -hmm. And it's partly, so he's making the hole so that the, you don't see it sinking. See it sinking. And also, the, the cold cream, or the ice cream, makes it possible to eat it. Yeah, because it's so hot, isn't it? Yeah. Cheers. Oh, you went straight in, all in. Oh. Mm. What's that? Whip that's bad for cream. I like the sound of that though. That didn't take us long to make at all. Yeah. And I think people just need to get over the fact that it could collapse at the yeah. end. And, and it, does, it doesn't matter, all souffles will eventually collapse mm -hmm. because they are not like cakes, they don't have enough flour. It simply doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But this book is not just for puts, as you call them. No. You've got some savoury recipes in there as well. It's more savoury than sweet. More, yeah, I saw that actually. I love sweet things and I love cakes, but I do think that they're treats. Look at that picture. And can I just say, I loved flicking through your book. You have a photo for every recipe. I know. I can't stand it when recipe books mm. don't have There's a picture. There's no point in a recipe without a no. picture because nobody cooks them. No. Um, done, people have done lots of research on what happens and nobody cooks anything that hasn't got a recipe. Yeah. Hasn't got a picture. It is out now, isn't it? it I is will leave now. a link down below where you can get this book. So don't forget to check it out. Thank you so much for Thank baking you, with Kate. me today. Well, it's it an honour. It was really good fun. I really Thank enjoyed you. it. Thank, Thank you, you and we much. hope you enjoyed it as well. See you soon. Bye. Did I ask you what your favorite? <laughs>